This is a very famous refugee camp on the border with Burma. Um, all the houses are, are made out of um, bamboo and the, the roofs are made out of leaves and um, it's vast. It's vast. It goes all the way down here. Um, foreigners are not allowed into the camp at the moment. Um, it's very they're being very strict about that. Um, that's Burma there. There's a river between um, those mountains and this camp separating the two countries. Basically most of them are Karen refugees, um, Karen Hill tribe refugees. So just arrived in Maysot. Um, it's raining, it's been raining for the last hour. I'm at the Bi Fern restaurant, it's recommended in the Lonely Planet. Having an avocado sandwich, there he is. How are you feeling? Uh, cold, wet, hungry, glad as full. <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, just arrived at Mesot. Um, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, hard ride through the rain in Mesot. Um, found a really nice guest house. Um, Balm Pusang. Is that right? Oh no. Balm Pruksang. Um, got a garden here. I've got a bedroom in here for two and about a night, four pounds. I've got a couple of nice dogs. Except one dog belongs to this guest house, the white dog. The black dog belongs to the other guest house um, where Cameron has decided to stay which is right across the way and recommended in The Lonely Planet which is this place over here, Bantai and that's the road into town we're in a cul-de-sac um, very nice girls watching TV but basically at the moment I've got this entire place to myself because it's not in The Lonely Planet <laughs> Um, Cameron likes the other place, it's a bit more expensive, 280 baht for a room um, with a shared bathroom. And uh, yeah, fantastic. Next stop, Dak on the, uh, the Ping River tomorrow. But, um, need to do some exercise. Oh, sitting on the bike, it's hard work mentally and physically, but it's. Um, it's not doing anything for the six pack. This bungalow here at the side is available for just 500 baht a night, 10 pounds, about $15. Um, yeah, very pleased. Um, the, uh, the niece of the owner is managing the place at the moment, young girl who's studying um, at the moment. So yeah, I just banged my head on this bicycle because I don't normally uh, expect a bicycle to be hanging from the ceiling, but in this case it is. Uh, yeah, great. So I've been sat here now for four hours in the same place. I am really tired. Um, five days of hard riding. Um, <clears throat> I'm just ready for a rest. Um, tomorrow, um, we're riding to Dax, only 85 kilometers short ride. I've already, I already know a hotel from the cycle ride I did before on the river. Um, Freestyle hotel, um, swimming pool. Um, so we're gonna go there, and then me and Cameron are planning to split up for um, a few days. Um, he's gonna go back to Chiang Mai because he wants to do some Muay Thai boxing starting on Saturday. Me, I want to see the um, the first capital of Thailand, Sukhothai. So I'm going to go to Sukhothai, um, and then I'm going to ride back um, via Sirachatar, I think it's called, a small town on a small highway. Then go to Lambang and stay there for a night um, because it's quite close to Chiang Mai, but I've never spent a night there or been around the city, so I'm going to do that. And then. Um, Gonna be back to Chiang Mai the next day, so maybe I'll 
Cameron will get back on Saturday and I'll maybe get back on Tuesday, which is fine. About 10 days, the trip will have been about 10 days and we will have covered a big portion of Northern Thailand and most of the significant things to see, so I'm really happy. It's been a great trip. The places we've stayed in, the quality has been incredible. For the prices, um, we've paid on average about 300 baht a night. Um, either having our own room or sharing a room but we've apart from last night always been in really nice places like this <laughs> It's really nice, really, really nice. So tonight we're planning to go out and find the uh, the nightlife in in uh, Mesot. Um, there's a bar just down the road and a restaurant. We're we're gonna have dinner and then uh, we've already had breakfast or lunch there and we're gonna see how that goes. But it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> as always. Um, so yeah, um, I'll see you later on tonight probably. <laughs> so, uh, this is dinner time. No, it's all right. This is the waitress. This is my beer. Thank you very much. Excellent. How's the beer? What have you just very ordered? Nice. What have you just ordered? Uh, I am getting. Let me see here. The roast duck. Roasted duck breast with sauteed potato and purple cabbage. Wow. There's a toss up between that. That's 170 baht and the grilled New Zealand lamb racks, which is 350 baht. Shit. And the German pork knuckle, 329 baht. <laughs> we got a beer Leo going, nice music. Few people in the restaurant, avatars playing in the background. Good start to the night. We're back here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get some more ice. Get some get a bucket of ice. A bucket? Yeah. Duck la ronge. Duck la ronge. So me and Cameron are slumming it over dinner. He's got duck la orange for about four pounds and I've got a huge pizza for about four pounds. Couldn't get much better than this, I think. Mean. That looks quite nice. Very delicious. How much, how much is that? Uh, Test, they're testing the staff. Someone looks unhappy. <laughs> oh dear, it looks like we've had a positive test. <laughs> well, it's a good thing the army are managing alcohol and drug consumption in Thailand. I think we need more soldiers here actually. A few more bulletproof vests. Yeah, let's take some pictures of the piss tests on the table. Yeah, we got these bad guys. They're all going to jail. <laughs> Thanks 
This is one of the weirdest bars I've ever been to. I'm sorry, that's okay. Now the sweet smell of urine is starting to walk through the establishment. <laughs> So this was the room I had last night for 200 baht, four pounds, lovely bright windows looking out over the, the garden, simple bed and desk, I only slept in here, um, I, I spent all my time sitting, sitting downstairs in the garden, it was so beautiful, and this, this is the balcony, if I can get the blooming door open, so there is a balcony here but for maybe for drying your washing it's okay probably wouldn't sit up here I'd sit downstairs be a bit more sociable um, yeah but lovely house let me take you through the house 